my name is Debra. Welcome to the second episode of Sustainable Packaging in a Circular Economy. This week we'll look at the recycling of packaging and how to design packaging to improve recyclability. Recycling is probably the best known strategy of the four in our course, and big companies like Unilever, Coca-Cola and Nestle have pledged to make all of their packaging recyclable in the near future. There are over 2,000 participants now enrolled in our course, and we are glad to see that so many professionals from the packaging industry have joined, as have material manufacturers, product designers, and environmental scientists, among others. We've seen some nice examples in the discussion forum and in the first assignment. If you haven't contributed so far, please share an example and comment on other learners' contributions. Here are some highlights. Malkisha shares the packaging of her favorite chocolates. The three different parts that make up the packaging look stunning and might protect the product well, but she reckons that the mix of materials adds a lot of costs and are horrible to sort in recycling. Linda shares a soap dispenser right from the supermarket with a great list of pros and cons. The bottle is made from recycled plastics, which is great, but Linda notes that the pump is a complex system made with parts from all kinds of materials. She even remarks that the color black is a bad choice when it comes to sorting in the recycling process. Well done, Linda. You are a step ahead of us. This week, we'll tell you why the color black isn't such a good choice and much more on recycling of packaging.